Now we're back online. Now we're just logged off and logged on again. And here you see the results. So one, two is on my left screen. That's because of this little line we made here with the change here. That's all we did. So now we know that first monitor is going to be workspace one, two, three, four, five. And second monitor is going to be six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So everything is in order, that's done. What we could do as uh, for the rest of the movie is change this here, can't read temp. What's this? Let's go to the i3 again. The i3 is hidden, so I'm gonna put it where it's supposed to be, here. So we can go easily to it. And i3 status conf is this line. So I'm not going to double click it and it's opening in the wrong program I'd rather have it opening in something else open with other application the sublime text select now it's here so this thing here it's going uh, it's going to go to a path probably i don't have that path on my hardware so you do ctrl alt and you can move it around like so so we have the two screens next to each other and now we can see what we have or we don't want to do it with the, plat at the terminal and you just go here and go to other locations computer user and then sys not not user sys 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 here is sys and then devices devices and then platform check core temperature have that too check so we're on other hardware, so I have to follow the path of this machine. Okay, so what did I found? find already? We're already at this level. Time to input is here. Oh, strange. Sys devices, sys devices, platform, core temperature, dot zero, monitor. Aha. So this one should be a zero. That's it. Come on, Eric. Control Z, Control Z. It was like that, huh? Okay, zero. Insert, where's my insert button? Here. Voila, save. So, all right, rechecking. Don't wanna have mistakes. Okay, temp input for, okay, save. Control S, Windows Shift R. And then here you have my temperature. It's 58 degrees, 55 now, when we speak. What a jump. So anyway, um, that's how you can fix uh, these little codes that are specific hardware things, you know. Have fun using i3.